All right, welcome back to Midday. We begin the show with Tracy Moffat from Tracy Moffat and Associates. Thanks for being here, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are talking about home shopping during the winter, what you need to know. So when I saw this, this headline that you sent me, I was kind of, uh, right away what came to mind was, oh, well, just shopping, you know, for gifts and things yeah. like that. But what exactly do you mean by home shopping for the winter? Well, home shopping in the sense of uh, purchasing a house. You yes. Know, uh, a lot of times... <laughs> Which I won't be doing for anybody this year. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of times there's a big misconception that people kind of hunker down and they wait through the winter before they put their house on the market mm -hmm. or even go to look. But it is a fantastic time to be out looking for a house. Really? Because you have people that are selling this time of year usually sell because of uh, necessity whether they've got a job transfer you know maybe somebody's gone through a divorce right. there's been a death in the family so real estate believe it or not still rolls on in the winter months really so, mm -hmm. okay yeah I, I would have thought that would have been a slower time and maybe not the greatest time to look but that's that's a good no tip. you can get some good deals too yeah. in the winter especially like for those houses that have been sitting on the market right. for a while so yeah, it's a, it's a good time. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've got some uh, pictures that we want to go through uh, here. If we can get the first one up, uh, holiday debt. Uh, this tell us a little bit about uh, what you want to talk about when it comes to holiday debt. Okay. So you know this is a great you know perfect time of year where people are starting their Christmas shopping and stuff like that. But what you want to do when you're purchasing a house, you want to make sure that you're keeping uh, your holiday shopping to a minimum. Okay. Because it could affect your the pre-approval or pre-approval process that you go through. So right. I know it's tempting and we all want to spoil our families and stuff like that. But all of a sudden, if you have a huge like visa bill, it could in fact affect what you can afford. So okay. you want to uh, keep that holiday debt to a minimum. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our next uh, couple of pictures here. Okay, what are we looking at here? Obviously <laughs> a house buried in some snow. So here, you know what? Seeing the homes at its worst is mm -hmm. actually a plus. This is obviously a little bit extreme, but um, it's good news for the buyer because you're going to discover um, like possibly certain flaws such as lack of privacy, right. um, leaks or drafting windows yeah. so seeing a home in its worst light so to speak uh, is actually a good thing and you could always ask for photos and sometimes homeowners will leave like photos on the counter mm -hmm. of what it looks like in the summer months right so, that's a good idea that yeah. last photo that we saw was actually quite nice though with the with the ice crystals coming off of the lights. Yeah, but if you got I mean if you got like three foot icicles hanging from the yeah. roof, you know that there might be a little bit of a heat loss issue and stuff. So you might want to pay a little bit uh, close attention to your home inspection. Okay. Uh, the next uh, pair of uh, uh, pictures we have, this looks cozy. Yeah. So again, you know, buying your house in the, uh, in the colder months, all the major systems um, in your home are put to the test, such as plumbing, heating, roof gutters and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So you can request now, Actually, I should go back and say, if you have a pool or, or if you have something that is kind of uh, in the summer months, yeah. uh, landscaping, irrigation and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you can ask for documents or receipts okay. to uh, make sure that a homeowner has like winterized the irrigation and stuff like that. Okay. So even though some of the elements are kind of showcased in the summertime, right. you can still get information and uh, info by just asking for paperwork and receipts and stuff. Yeah, because sometimes that can be deceiving or, or just stuff that people or information that people just don't offer up at that time right unless exactly. you ask for it yeah okay yeah exactly um so yeah that last photo that we saw was all the invoices right yes that's right <laughs> okay. yeah ask for bills and receipts ask and if you're if you're a homeowner um putting your house on the market keep that stuff out you know you could again like the pictures you can display it on the counter so you have that information okay. make a spreadsheet if that's easier oh, and the idea. more information you can give to buyers the uh the more your house shows in a positive light absolutely yeah um our next uh, one here is this is a beautiful home behind this for sale sign yeah so you know in the winter curb appeal is actually still important so obviously you want to make sure your driveways and your sidewalks are mm -hmm. plowed uh get some de-icer and that sort of stuff but it can look quite nice right like that yes. picture is beautiful yeah and you want to keep make sure you keep the window coverings 
uh, open. Okay. You know, maybe um, contact a window cleaning company, get your windows clean. Because, you know, dark tends to fall at about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock at yeah. night. You know, the afternoon light that we have sometimes mm -hmm. can be a bit dim. Mm -hmm. So the brighter you make your house and the more natural light that you can bring in, the better it's going to look. Okay. Uh, I think, do we have one more set or was that the last one, Tracy? Uh, that was, that the, was last the last one. one. Okay. Just a few little tips. Uh, so good tips. Um, would you recommend, so that last one that we just looked at there with the, the house with all the snow and stuff, it's really, yeah. that looked very beautiful. It's still got nice curb appeal. But would you, would you suggest people take most of their photos in the summer, spring months? Or is it still? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. And That's the other, right. actually, the other tip that I uh, forgot about and that mm -hmm. just reminded me of that last picture. Yeah. People always ask about, well, should I decorate for the holidays? Right. You know, should I put my Christmas tree up? Should I put the lights on? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Just continue living your life the way you do it. If you are the type of person that goes a little crazy, you might want to, you know, tone it yeah, down a little bit. Try not to get too tacky and cluttery. No, but yeah. and if it's something like if you've always wanted to do a theme, like uh, right. maybe, uh, I don't know, a pink Christmas tree or red okay. and white, this, you know, now's a good time to do it. You know, if you can make your house look a little staged, it'll be, uh, it'll be beneficial for you. But absolutely, continue with your decorations, continue with your traditions. Just, you might want to dial it back a bit if, like, Christmas is your thing and you just go crazy. Yeah, I could see that happening with some people. Yeah. All right, Tracy, good tips as always. Maybe this is a cozy time to look for a house, right? Yes, exactly. All right. No okay. snow here, so it's good to yes. get out. There you go. Tracy Moffat, uh, information is at the bottom of the screen there. Make sure you get a hold of her if you have any questions or any comments uh, or if you just want to chat. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.